guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Glamoury Deluxe Essentials 8 piece brush set. So as the name suggests, there are 8 brushes in this set. I will do close ups for you guys in a minute. The brushes do come in this really, really nice, I'm guessing this is synthetic leather pouch, like fake leather pouch because I think this retails for $26.95 on the website and that is in US dollars. So for $26.95 you do get this pouch which is actually very very decently sized. The brushes take up about half the pouch so you definitely do have space to put a few essentials in there as well or even your own brushes and this would be amazing for travel. And then moving on to the brushes themselves you do get eight. The first one that you get is just a small kind of concealer brush. These brushes don't have names, so I'm kind of just describing them the best that I can. You do have a small angled brush. Do You do have a more fluffy brush that I would personally use for maybe powder or bronzer or something like that. You do have a flat shader brush or more of like a buffing brush, kind of like the MAC 217. You do have a blush or contour brush as well. You do have a more pointy brush for the eyes or at least that's what I would use it for. A smaller synthetic brush, which would be nice for kind of cream bronzing or something like that. And then you do have a larger size of that brush as well. Now, I just wanna say that this portion of the video will be my first impressions on the brushes themselves. Um, and then at the end of the video, I will give you an overview of my experience with the brand and kind of how everything arrived and my issues with customer service and stuff like that. So definitely stay to the end to watch that as well. Now, I do want to just quickly say that I have washed these brushes. I recommend washing any brushes before using them on your face. So anyway, I'm going to be taking that Hourglass Mineral Veil and I'm going to apply that to my face. And I'm just going to start buffing it into the skin. So far, no brush hairs are shedding off, so that's really good. And the brush is actually quite pleasant to use on the face. It's not scratchy at all, so that's really, really nice. I have been liking applying my primer using a brush recently just because I feel like it's just a little bit faster and it doesn't get my hands as messy. So I feel like that applied it really, really well. Primers are generally transparent so you can't really see, but it did apply the primer to my face very, very quickly and very, very evenly, so I really did enjoy that. Now for foundation, I'm going to be using my EX1 foundation. I love this so much. I'm using F200 today. I'm just going to take two pumps of that and then apply that to my face and then buff it in using the exact same brush. I like using the same brush from primer and foundation just because it kind of primes the bristles ready to apply the foundation. I just want to quickly mention that this brush is by no means similar to say for example the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. This brush is a lot more less dense and a lot more kind of flimsy I guess. Not really flimsy, just more fluffy. Um, so yeah, it's definitely not like a Kabuki buffing brush. But this is the only brush in the set that I feel like would be good for foundation. So yeah, I'm just using that today. But do not get me wrong, this is not like a flat top buffing brush. I actually don't have any brush like this in my collection to be honest, I don't think. But it is definitely doing a nice job. It is obviously distributing the foundation a lot lighter than say the F80 would by Sigma, but it's still distributing it nicely, quickly and evenly, but it is providing a lot lighter coverage. So it has shed one hair on my face, but besides that, I don't see any others. I'm now gonna go on to concealer, so I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown Corrector in Peach. And then over the top of that, I'm gonna be using my Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Concealer. This is in the shade Light 16, and I'm gonna be buffing that in with the smaller version of this brush. Again, this isn't like a kabuki brush. This is definitely a more fluffy brush, if you can see that there. I do like how easy concealer is to blend with this brush. It's super, super easy. But I do feel like it picked up way, like it sucked up way too much concealer. And then it kind of got to the point where I was getting a bit streaky on this eye. Like this eye was perfect. This eye was starting to get streaky and I had to go in with my fingers to kind of like even it out a little bit. Okay, so I just went off camera and applied my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Um, I just applied it with my fingers like I do every single day. So I didn't think that I would show you guys that on camera. Um, but now I'm going to go powder my face. So I am going to be using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. I'm going to set my whole entire face. And I'm just going to use the powder brush in the set. I can notice a brush hair just shed out of that. I don't know if you can see it, but a hair just shed out of it. But only one though, so it's probably just because it is very new. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the angled eyeliner brush in the set and my Chi Chi brow pomade. 
Okay, so I just finished applying my eyebrows. Um, I must say that I felt like I had to dip back into my brow product a lot more than what I would normally have to. However, I really do like the kind of width of the brush because I was able to do the front of my eyebrow in just one sweep. Like it was the perfect size for my personal eyebrow, but that really just depends on, like it depends person to person. This works the best for my eyebrow width. Um, I do quite like the thickness on this brush. Like it's a little bit thicker than my normal angled eyeliner brushes that I use for eyeliner. So I felt like I had a lot more control of the brush and I was able to get a very, very precise brow with it. So, so far I'm really, really enjoying this brush. Okay, so I'm gonna start by using my Zoeva Naturally Yours palette and I'm gonna take the highlight shade just because there's only really three eye brushes in this set. So I'm gonna highlight the brow bone first of all. So I am noticing that this brush isn't very soft. It's actually a slight bit scratchy. Um, compared to the other brushes in the set. Now taking my Too Faced Naturally Yours palette, I'm going to be taking the shade called Nudie up here, just on the same brush. So when I dip my brush into this shade and I sweep it through twice, I can see that it's picked up a lot of product, but once I tap it off, hardly any product sticks to the brush, so that's really confusing. But I'm just going to apply that to the crease. Yeah, this brush is really, really strange. Like, it picks up a lot of product, but once you tap off the excess, nothing hardly stays on the brush. Oh my god, I can't get over how scratchy this brush is. It's actually so uncomfortable on the eye. So scratchy. I'm going to take this brush here, and I'm just going to buff out the edges, just so there's no harsh lines. This brush is a lot more soft and a lot better than the other brush. This brush is just painful. I do not like this. I'm going to darken up the eye. I'm going to be using this soft and sexy shade from the Zoeva Naturally Yours palette. Again, tapping off the excess. A bit more product is actually staying on with this shade. I still can't get over how scratchy this brush is. Oh my god. So I'm just going to use the same brush and I'm going to apply this shade here. It's called Sweet Sound. And I'm just going to apply it to the lid. Still super scratchy. Oh my god. This is so weird, like it's not really applying any pigment, like once you brush it off. Now on the lower lashes, I'm going to take this Inglot shade here. This one is in the shade 605 and it's just a really, really pretty color. I'm going to be using this brush here, the pointy one. These eye brushes are really weird, like I'll pick up product, right, and then I'll tap off excess and then there'll be like no color left. It's like nothing sticks to the brush. This is so strange. Okay, this brush is awful as well. On the lower lashes, I'm gonna just take this Jessup brush, it's a short shader brush, and I'm just gonna mix these two shades together. Oh my God, that's so much more comfortable and less scratchy. I'm also gonna darken up the outer corner a smidgen, so I'm gonna use this fluffy brush from Coastal Scent, just using these two shades from Inglot again. I'm now just gonna take the round brush again, I'm gonna buff out any harsh edges. Now I'm just going to dip that brush into the shade Nudie and use it as more of a transition shade. Oh my god, this brush is so much nicer to use. Now I'm going to bronze up my face using this brush here. And I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown bronzer in the shade Golden Light. This brush is definitely a lot less scratchy than the eye brushes. But it's still not a very soft brush by any means. It's applying the bronzer a little bit patchy. Now I am going to contour using the shade Suntan from Cover Effects. Now I'm going to use the same brush and apply a little bit of blush. This one is Tarte Exposed. And now I'm just going to apply a little bit of a highlighter. This is Moonlight from Cover Effects. And then I'm going to apply that to the tops of the cheekbones. Okay, so that's all the brushes used. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a bit of mascara, maybe some fake eyelashes and my lip product. And I will be right back. I've just got done doing my makeup and now I just wanted to share with you guys my experience with the company and what was happening. So I did my order on Black Friday and I ordered four sets um, or four items. So I ordered the set that I'm reviewing today, two eye sets and the same eye set I should say. So two of the same eye set and then one single brush. What I got in the mail was the set that I'm reviewing today, one eye set and one brush which was not the brush that I ordered. I was just like what on earth? So I went through PayPal and I was going through them directly. How they were talking through email, it just it wasn't a very nice vibe to begin with. Um, they rejected my my request to just get my money back for the things that I didn't receive. Like I thought that was pretty unprofessional. Um, I ended up escalating that with PayPal. 
it was just a very, very unpleasant experience for me. Like, the stuff that I ordered, I didn't get in the mail. It was just a whirlwind of a ride to try and get my money back. Like, I definitely do not want to experience that again, ever. Like, seriously, I'm so turned off by my experience with it, I would never buy anything again. But, I don't want my customer service opinion to to affect this review but definitely put that into consideration when I ordered things some of the things didn't come at all and some things were not what I ordered and I was very very dissatisfied so I think my overall opinions on this brush set is my favorite brush is definitely the angled liner brush I love how it performed in my eyebrows I really really enjoyed it and then I really did enjoy the powder brush but to be fair how often has anyone hated a powder brush this one's just a very very basic very very standard brush but it does the job my two hated brushes in the set are definitely the two eye brushes. These are absolutely crap. They hurt my eye. They pick up pigment, but then they don't like deposit onto the eye. It's so weird, so strange, so scratchy, and so shit. I don't like those. And then the other four brushes, these brushes are quite neutral. I don't hate them, I don't love them, but they do the job. So I guess the final question is, would I recommend this brush set to you guys for $26.95? And to be honest, I would say definitely not. Like, how the brushes physically performed, I don't think they were that, like, they weren't all that great. I feel like you could go to the drugstore and you could buy some Eco Tools or Real Technique brushes and you would still get amazing quality brushes and they wouldn't be scratchy and they'll just be perfect. I don't like this set for the overall package. If I could buy these individually, I would definitely recommend the angled eyeliner brush. But to be fair, everything else, it wasn't that great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please don't forget that all the opinions that I expressed in this video are completely my own and they were just my personal experiences. You might experience different things with the company than I did, um, but this is just what I experienced. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.